hello everyone today we are going to see how to use snapcut software to auto cut your photos so once we start the snapcut software you can see the user interface like this so there are many buttons which are disabled right now you can see the open button enable this button is used to load your images which you want to automatically cut to so just click on open button and select the image which you want to auto cut now the image is loading once the image is loaded ensure that image is in a proper rotation right now you, uh, you can see the image is not in a proper rotation so you can first use rotation tool here yes now the image is in proper rotation so now this auto clip button is enabled so just click on this button ensure that you have a good internet connection and internet is working just click on auto clip once the auto click is done you can see the processing processing bar now the processing is done so wait for some time now you can see this picture is automatically cut and remove the background and replace with the transparent color that is the you can say mask or transparent color or alpha so now your photo is ready if you want to save the photo you can use the save but as this is demo you can see uh, we can see the other functionality or other buttons uh, given in this application so there is some color fill tool so this tool is useful uh, to check the photo quality after cutout and all these things for example many times it is not necessary to get the exact uh, look in a transparent color so you can change the transparent color to whatever the color you want for example I selected just gradient tool and now I can see the different shades mask is proper or not and sometime if you want to change the mask softness overall softness you can use this edge slider to increase the hardness you can just increase this way better way you can see in a zoom mode so for zoom you can use this zoom tool this is fit to screen this is one as to one it is actual size so for example right now you can see when I increase the mask softness the edge portion is harder and if you want to soft your mask you can use soft this way but in this case actually this photo is properly cut out so you can set it to zero again you want to fit window you can use fit to window another options are there in some photos many times uh, some photo reflection and all these kinds of issues are there due to that 100% properly not cut out is done in this case there we need to erase the extra portion or we need to restore the extra portion so we can use erase and restore tool so just for the demo purpose we can see how to use erase tool restore tool for erase tool and restore tool there is a brush size by default it is on 20 for example I want to erase some portion in this photo so I erase this portion I want a big brush size I can use big brush size and I can erase this portion uh, now I want to restore some you can click on restore so same brush will be used in a restore portion oh. and now I want to undo because my photo is previously properly cut out so you can use undo or you want to reset to original cutout you can just click on a reset so you can get the original cutout this is the simple application but very useful application and if you want to save the image just click on a save give the name crop 1 this image is saved in a PNG so in PNG you will get 32 bit alpha and transparent just click on a save image is saved just this one yeah this is the original image and this is properly cut out so this way we can use snap cut easily 
for instant cutout no need to photoshop no need to selection it is really very useful software and if you want to buy this software you can get more information on snapcut.digiphotoalbum.com you can see all the details in the below detail panel thanks